What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. We are coming to you live from Jones Beach. Look at that. That is beautiful right here. Jones Beach. There's the tower there. Beautiful morning here on the beach, 50 something degrees, a little bit of wind, absolutely beautiful. So we did the Wontor Parkway ride, it's five and a little over five miles down to where I am now, about five and a half, and then back to uh, Cedar Creek Park. And it's a beautiful day for a ride, trying to get this ride in early, got an open house at 12 over in Rockville Center, uh, and we're looking for a big house, six bedrooms, three baths, 3,000 square feet, 414 Coleridge, it's all over my Facebook wall if you are. Interested in something like that, great house. But uh, we are here giving you the message. So today I want to talk about the three G's. Um, first one would be uh, grief. We carry around grief from the past. Um, <clears throat> stuff that's uh, stuff that's hurt us in the past, we don't let it go and we carry that uh, grief around. And it limits us on how far we can go. Uh, we're constantly going back to the past, constantly reliving the grief, constantly reliving the loss. And that's something that we need to learn to let go of. Next thing is guilt. Uh, sometimes we've done stuff in the past that we're not proud of, and we carry that guilt around. And we need to learn to forgive ourselves uh, and forgive those around us. Um, it's, uh, it's important because a lot of times we relive the past. And along with that goes grudges. Um, we hold grudges against people and it occupies space in our head about uh, things that people have done to us in the past and maybe they weren't in the right state of mind, maybe there was some other situation going on in their life that caused them to do whatever they did to you. And uh, we carry around grudges and we're always looking to pay them back some way. You know what, release it, forgive it. So we need to forgive the grief from the past, we need to forgive the guilt from the past, and we need to forgive the grudges from the past, and we need to move forward, because all those things are anchors that we drag behind us that keeps us from moving on. Um, the past is the past, a lot of us relive the past, we, we relive emotions from the past, we relive situations from the past, um, and it hurts, and it slows us down, and it keeps us from being everything we need to be. So we need to learn to forgive it, release it, and look forward, no looking back. There's a reason the windshield is so big in your car and the rearview mirror is so small. We need to look forward, not look back. So, there's your message for today. Get rid of the three Gs. Get rid of the grief in your life. Get rid of the guilt in your life. And get rid of the grudges in your life. And free yourself up to move forward and do better things. So, all right, so there's your message. Let's jump on prayers. Good Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to release our grief, help us to release our guilt, help us to relief, release our grudges, help us to forgive ourselves and help us to forgive those around us so that we can move forward and live our best life and live our dreams. Amen. All right, so it's an absolutely beautiful Saturday here. Jones Beach, a bunch of people out on the boardwalk over here on the bike trail. Beach is still empty. This is definitely a beach day, man. It's like warm, the sun is warm. Summer is close, thank God. Enough of this cold weather. Can't deal with it anymore. I wish we want to move to Florida. So, but anyway, open house today. Over in Rockville Center, 12 to 2. Six bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square foot. Beautiful home, 1.2 million. And uh, it could be yours. Um, not much around like that. That big, that many bedrooms. Um, great location. Um, 414, Collar Ridge. In Rockwell Center, you'll see the post on my wall for more information. Um, everything else I got listed is basically uh, in contract to go in a contract. Um, they don't last long. If uh, you're thinking of selling, the rates are creeping. 
uh, buyers are out trying to buy before the rates get any higher. So let's talk. Let's get your house on the market before uh, the rates get any higher and we start losing buyers. Every time the rates increase, buyers lose spending power. There's less buyers to buy your house as they lose spending power, which means less competition, which means the prices are going to start leveling out. Um, I don't know if they're going to drop, but right now there's definitely going to be a level coming soon as buyers start dropping out of the market because they can't afford the higher rates. Higher rates equal bigger payments. They can only afford X amount a month. Um, so that's going to limit their buying power. Again, competition is what makes the prices go up, supply and demand. Right now, there's very little supply. There's a lot of demand. Uh, the demand's probably going to ease a little bit as the rates come up. Um, we got to get the supply up, which means we need your house. we got to get your house on the market. So if you're thinking of selling now, is the time. I wouldn't wait any longer. Uh, I think we're at the top of it here. I can't see the prices keep going up as rates keep going up. So if you're debating about selling, let's talk. Um, we got a bunch of buyers looking to buy homes right now. Not much out there to sell. Them. Hi, everyone. Appreciate you all. Enjoy your Saturday. Get outside and enjoy the sunshine. It's been a long time coming. Um, put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Let's go.